What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over how to adjust the band in a power glide transmission. A lot of people don't know how to do it. A lot of people, they never adjust it. You need to adjust the band on a regular basis. At least check it because it is a wear item. That band is wrapped around the high gear drum. And so it applies when you're in low gear. It releases when you're in high gear. And But that holding, that mechanism, every time it applies and, and releases, it does do a little bit of wear. So some people I've heard back in the past, every five passes, I've heard 10 passes. My transmission builder, Anton Lightning Quick Glides, he recommended about every 16 to 20 passes. So you wanna just check it. Because if that band releases just a hair before the high gear clutches apply, you'll get a little bump in RPMs. Let me show you how to do it real fast. Super, super easy. I'll show you what tools you need. It's super easy. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. If y'all want to support the channel, go to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Well, here is the transmission. So uh, this transmission, the way this thing works, Power Glide in this car, obviously, it's exposed. This is super easy to get to. Now, when you're in a car that is a full body car, it's a little more difficult. So, but this is the band adjustment. Now, it's really, really simple. Uh, this is the lock nut. So this is a 732nd Allen wrench. Now, when you're in a Mustang, uh, or another chassis car, something that actually has a transmission tunnel. This is an Allen wrench that basically I cut out of the corner of an Allen wrench. And so what I did that, the reason I did that is because you don't have room like this. And so when you don't have room, you're not able to really get in there a lot. So that's what this is for. It made it really nice for me to get it. Of course you have to do it under the car, but basically I've already loosened this lock nut up. Make sure this does not turn when you actually do it. And you want to count the rounds how far it is out. Now, stock power glide. When you have a stock power glide setting, it says you gotta torque this Allen to 72 inch pounds. 72 inch pounds is like six foot pounds ish. Now the problem is, is when you're in a car, you can't really do that, right? Because it's it stuff's in the way. The transmission tunnel is all in the way, so that's not possible. So what we're gonna do, uh, I'm still not gonna do it today. So you, cause you have a practice of when you're doing this, you learn, how it feels on what the torque is and what the adjustment needs to be. And so generally you want to count your rounds in and then that tells you how much band wear you've had. So if you had this thing set at three rounds out or three and a half rounds out or four rounds out and you come back and it's a half a round more, then you know that is the issue. Now, the way you want to do this, like I said, it's not practical really to have a torque wrench in here. So we're going to just count the number. Let's go so from right here. One, two, that is tightening up just a tad, so that's three. So now Anton, what he does is, you see how I snugged it down a little bit? So I snugged it down to three rounds, and so that's about where it was supposed to be. This is a maintenance item that you want to do when you're doing it. Now, technically, I think if you read by the book, it says 72 inch pounds, and then you back it out three and a half turns. So some builders say three and a quarter, three and three quarters. There's a whole lot of people that say different numbers. But there again, you've got to pick what works for you or what your builder recommends. But you want to snug it up. You don't want to, you know, go way like past it. Obviously, if you've got this little teeny wrench or like this one here, you can't get much leverage on it. So instead of going to 72 inch pounds, we're going less than 72 inch pounds. And that's how we can know that we've got this thing properly adjusted. So then it's just as simple. So we're about three out. So we're going to go back out to three. One, two, three. And so there we are. So here we, here we are. You take this while you're holding the Allen wrench and take your lock nut and then basically just tighten your lock nut down. And then when you tighten your lock nut down, snug it up. You ain't got to go real super, super, super tight with it. But now your band is adjusted. So just that simple. That is how you adjust a Power Glide band in a race car or a street car or what kind of every car you want. All right, guys. Well, hopefully that was helpful. Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Later. <laughs>